What's up, YouTube? It's Eat This Mystical Child here, and I'm going to come at you with my first pick a card reading for my channel. And the pick a card reading is going to be on how does your in laws view you? How does the person you're dealing with, how does their family view you? The mother, the father, the sisters, the brothers, how do they view you? So this is going to be Pow One, a handsome bull. And he's going to go with the Gilded Tarot. We've been dating for over 20 years. This is Pow Two, pink nail polish. see it pink nail polish with the light cirrus tarot pile number three it's elements rolling paper with the tarot of dreams deck so you guys pick your deck pick your item and in the meantime, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel who have subscribed and liked my videos. I want to thank you guys who are new coming through. I will ask if you like my video, can you please like the video? It doesn't take too much, you know, what will I say? Commitment to like the video if you like the video. I would appreciate if you like, um, if you subscribe as well. But if you don't really want to subscribe and you like the video, please like the video. Okay? Thank you. Now, I have some channel um, messages, a couple of channel messages I did for you guys. So, I will start with pal number one. Your channel messages I have, it's like, you're a chill person. You seem like you're experienced. You also seem like you enjoy life. You eat well. You may have had a broken leg in your life, like a broken leg or a broken knee or broken ankle or injured it very bad at some point. And it seems like you're observing. So, yeah, those are my channel messages for you guys. So let's shuffle the deck real quick. Even though I prepared the deck, I'll shuffle it a couple more times for the people who like to watch the decks being shuffled. What's up to the Libras, by the way? If you're a Libra and you're watching this, what's up to you guys? Because it's your season. Almost done, but it's your season. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Okay, so let's get started with the reading. I'll just prop in my deck again a little more. Okay, gatekeepers. First card out. Strength. They see that you're strong. A person that um, have the strength card is someone who is a strong person. You know how to battle your demons. You know how to control your demons, let's say that. You know, you're a strong person. You're a forward-thinking person. So that's the overall energy for it. So gatekeepers, how does the collective in-laws view them? How does the collective in-laws view them? One card, please, for power one. How does... Justice came in reverse. It was like in reverse. So, I don't know why the justice would be in reverse. Justice is like a person that's balanced, and it's Libra energy. So, this would be a um, lead, Libra energy. This, to me, is Leo energy. But when justice is in reverse, it's like you're not balanced. It could mean other things, but we're going to start out to say you're not balanced. So, they see that you're strong. You you fight your demons. But why, is, why would it be in reverse? Why? The Nine of Cups is here. This is a water sign. You know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You happy. You have everything you want. Or you could be a person who drink too much and celebrate too much and party too much. We're going to see. We're going to dig a little further. 
I'm gonna give every um, pile like 10 minutes. So we're gonna dig a little further. Why is this justice in reverse for the collective as they and will see them? Why is the justice in reverse? That card wanted to pop out. The emperor. Are you somebody's father? Emperor is a, a, is a spiritual leader. It's a very mature person. People go to him. He's supposedly balanced. I don't know why would the emperor come out in the justice. Can I have the nine of cups? Why is the nine of cups? Eight of pentacles in reverse. You don't know how to walk away from things. Because the um, eight of pentacles. Um, no. The eight of pentacles upright is a person. If you look, he's studying something. He could be somebody who like stalks people. He could be a researcher. This is an earth sign again. But it's in reverse. So it seems like it's the um Eight of Pentacles came out with the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups I said is a person who's either happy, have everything, you know, going for themselves, or they could be a person who drink too much. Now being that the Eight of Pentacles came in reverse. It's like you're not working on what you need to work on. You're not studying. You're not really focusing on your money. So maybe they do think you drink too much. Can I have more energy off of why this justice in the reverse? Why is this justice in the reverse with the emperor for the collective? Three of Wands. Three of Wands is looking for some looking for um his ships to come in. They have two wands behind them, but they're taking this wand and they Heading out, it's like whatever you're dealing with, you don't want to be bothered with it. You're looking for better times to come, you know, a better horizon, if you would. Why is the strength here? The Queen of Pentacles. Pen Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign. Someone that's mature, that's stable, that's grounded, you know. And then it's with the strength, and the strength is heading the opposite way of these other cards. So are you walking away from the person you're with? Because strength in, in the Queen of Pentacles is a pretty mature person. This energy is a grounded, mature person who have, like, conquered themselves. You know? They don't, they demons don't lead them astray. They conquered themselves, so. And then you have the Emperor... And the three of wands with the justice in reverse. The emperor is looking at the justice in reverse. And the emperor is looking at the queen of pentacles as well. And the queen of pentacles is facing the emperor. But he's not really looking at him. You know? Let me show you. The queen of pentacles is here. And the emperor is here. So if you see how the emperor... This is reversed, how it's seen, it's reversed, I don't know. The way I'm seeing it is reversed, so if you're going to look at it towards the camera, I guess, no, let me see something, can I, hopefully you can see better. Do you see that the emperor is looking towards the justice in reverse and the queen of pentacles and the strength here? So there's justice in reverse in between the queen of pentacles and the emperor. Something has gone on here that was not made right. Why is the justice in the reverse for the collective for power one? What went wrong? Wow. Three of cups in reverse. Are you hurt? Are you in sorrow? You are in sorrow for something. What is this three of swords in reverse? Yeah, you're moving on to calmer waters. I'm sure you can see the cards. I don't want to keep picking them up because it's going to kind of like flip the, the cards around, make it seem like it's in another, like looking in the other way. But you are moving on. See, now you're heading towards the emperor. Can you see the cards? I really want you to see this. The justice is in reverse. The three of um, swords is in reverse. And the six of wands. I mean, six of um, swords is upright. But again, you see, it's turned around. When I lift it up so you guys can see it, it gets turned around. But, yeah, you moving, 
you moving on to calmer waters. But the calmer waters seem like you're going towards this, this emperor here. And this emperor looked like he's looking for, oh, maybe you are the, sh maybe you are the ship coming in. Because look, you see how you the six of swords leading to calmer waters? Because of whatever injustice and, and hurt you've been going through? Now look, the emperor is here. Now as I put the cards back down, just look at the direction. The emperor is here. The emperor is facing the six of wands. And the emperor is looking out. With the, with the three of wands, he's looking out for better horizons. So is he waiting for you to come in? Are you coming into the, going to the emperor? You moving to the emperor? What is going on? This would take more than 10 minutes, this pile. This is a complex pile. Who is this six of swords to this um, um, emperor? Who is this six of swords to the emperor? The page of wands. Somebody coming in with a love offer or somebody who's coming in with an um, apology. So maybe y'all getting back together. Are you getting back together? Maybe you're getting over. You, why is this justice in reverse? More energy and why is this justice in reverse? For the collective. Why is the justice in reverse for power one? Yeah, it was a two, two, yeah. Somebody was undecided about this relationship. There was a third party involved in this. There was a third party involved in this. And, yeah, this person, somebody parties too much. Somebody parties too much. If you can see, the nine of cups, somebody happy juggling and you guys the female energy over here was heartbroken because of this and the justice is in reverse because you didn't get probably apology yeah maybe you didn't get apology for the heartbreak and all of the the um the burdens that you was putting put under you don't have any wands out here like ten of wands or anything like that or nine of wands but you do have the six of wands i mean six of swords i hate when when I say wands, wands is um, impulsive energy. Wands is sex, basically. Creative, creativity, sex, and stuff like that. And it seems like I'm saying wands because there's a third party involved. So your in-laws see that you and a person that you're with, their family member, whoever you with, I don't know who you with. But it seems like you and this person had some type of falling out and you moving on to calmer water moving to calmer waters i think you come into this emperor and you may try to apologize yeah, probably trying to apologize and make up why is this two of pentacles here for the collective and then i'm gonna end this reading because I don't want this to go too long. I just wanted something quick. A quick, quick. A... Yep. There you go. Seven of Swords. This is a grimy person. This is a person who who cheats, steals, lies, try to get over on people, you know, don't care about people's feelings. They, they don't care. So this is what your um, in-laws see. The Two of Pentacles was juggling. He was drinking. He was having too much fun, third parties. There was no justice brought to this. Somebody wants to come in with the apology. And I asked what, who is the, um, the Six of Swords to the Emperor. Whoever the Six of Swords is want to come in and apologize. So this is how they see you. They see that... Let me see something. Eight of... Eight, eight, Ooh. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, somebody that was given to somebody else, somebody was that breadcrumbing somebody, somebody was being breadcrumbed in this relationship, and it's a chariot, 
Something is not moving. So this is how your in-laws see you for power one. It, it, I'll sum it up. It, they they looking at you like you have been hurt by somebody you was with that was partying too much, had third parties, um, that did some treacherous something to you. He was breadcrumbing you. There was no movement here. And then somebody started stalking and investigating. The strength card and the queen of pentacles is like, you know, want to move on. So hopefully, I hope this doesn't uh, um, pertain to you guys. I hope not, but this, this energy is for somebody. So this is how they in-laws see you. And to your next reading... Okay, we're here for Pile 2 now. Pile 2, this is your reading if you pick the Pink Nail Polished with the Light Series deck. This is your pile. Now, your channel messages I have for you, I have that you, I, this energy is coming across like you're a girly person. Or if, you don't, if you're not outright girly, internally you're girly, you're romantic, you love love. I think that you may be a water sign or earth sign. And I think like you like quality over quantity. You may come across as a fun person, but you're shy. You know, a, pro a lot of people probably don't even know that you're shy. You know, but you probably do have a shy side to you. Um, like I said, you are romantic. And I think you love serious relationships. So that's for pal two. So let's get to how your in-laws view you. I'm going to shuffle the cards a little bit, even though I prepped the deck already, but I'll shuffle it, shuffle it a little bit. This is going to be a quick reading, too. This is not going to be nothing long. Just want to come through and give you a little energy of how your in-laws view you. The last pile was kind of crazy. There was a lot going on over there. That could have led to a whole reading. Hopefully, you guys' pile is not so complicated. Maybe you pick more than one pile, too. Who knows? If you um, identify with more than one pile, you can pick more than one pile. So, okay. Gatekeepers, how does the collective in law see them? Five of Swords came out. I'm going to put this back in because I didn't really get the question out yet. Now, gatekeepers, how does the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups is somebody that's young and romantic. You know, you love love. I'm not going to say you like the maturest person in love, but, you know, you could be young. You could be a male. You could be a female. Yeah, this is a water sign card. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So let's get a little more. What is the, um, how does, uh, how does the collective in law see them? Two cards came out. First one. The Seven of Wands and the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords came out on, in Power One. I'm not telling you to um, go to that pile if you're not, wasn't initially going to go there, but yeah. This Six of Swords definitely came out in there. Seven of Wands is um, a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And you're a protective person. You're a person who protects your peace. You're a person who's been through a lot in life. And now that you like taking yourself away from like all type of drama and stuff and protecting your peace. But everybody, you see these swords down here? I mean these wands. It's like people want to pick at you. And try to test you and see if like you're really a balanced person. Are you really this person? They want to like draw out your bad side. But you're trying to keep your peace. And you see you in a bubble. It's like you take yourself away from people. And Six of Swords is someone that's moving on. And these waters here look kind of choppy. So the emotions is kind of... It's a lot of emotions going on here. Whatever you're moving on from, it was kind of emotional and turbulent. This is another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. It's like your spirit guides is actually leading you away from this. It's not even like you're leading yourself. This boat is being pulled by messengers. 
birds are messengers. They bring in messages. They also could be spirit um spirit guides too. Why is this? Why is the six of swords? Whoa, the moon. Another water sign. This is for a water sign. This is water dominant. If you're not water, you're earth sign. And like I said, I thought you was a water earth sign for this for this pile. Yeah, the moon is here. Are you drowning in your emotions from something you went through? It's a lot of hidden things here. Are you using your intuition and moving on? Because I did say like this is like your spirit guides is moving you. And you are submerged into water. It's like you're using your intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Why is the um, Seven of Wands here? Why does is the Seven of Wands here? It says the Ends Laws View the Collective. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Wow. The Magician. You manifesting something. You manifesting a better life. You manifesting peace and tranquility. You see this? And you moving on? Yeah. You manifesting a better life. A better situation from this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is a man. And then you have the Eight of Cups here. The Eight of Cups is a water sign again. It's a lot of water. It's nothing but water here. All these cards is water. All four out of the six. So Eight of Cups is somebody who walks away from um, things they start. It could be emotional. You're walking away. You burnt your, you did a burning ritual. And now you're walking away from it. Yeah, you're manifesting a better life. You, you're definitely manifesting a better life. Why is the, the Ace of Cups wanted to come out? You're somebody who love yourself, who have self-love. The Seven of Swords came out. The Seven of Swords came out in Power One. I'm not telling you to go to Power One, but yeah, this is someone who, who takes more than he's supposed to take. And the sun... I mean, the moon is shining the light on him. Look at this. These these piles, pile one and pile two could be a whole reading, but I can't make this too long of a reading. Look, whatever was done in secret, the moon is shining the light on him. And this is why I had the instinctive feeling, because I'm intuitive, that your gate, your 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 ancestors, your higher, you're being rescued by by your by your by your whoever you believe in. Your ancestors, God, you being you being rescued. What's going on with this King of this Knight of Cups? What's up with this Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups came out with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is someone very immature, someone just carefree, someone that really don't really want love. They want sex, and it's the Knight here too. Yeah. Can I have a little more about this page of wands? The page of wands is the queen of wands. So let me see something. The queen of wands is a fire sign. It's a very passionate person. This person looked like they working on some creativity, some create create some creative spark that they have, and the wands again. That's this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is running off the, a spark of of passion, basically. This is all passion. Wands is passion, creativity, sex, and the Knight of Wands is someone that's sitting here. Like he's so innocent and charming and who is the Knight of, Wa Knight of Cups to the collective? And then I'm going to end this reading. Who's the Knight of Cups to this collective? Because I have to get to Pal, whoa, Pal 3. This is too much. Who's the Knight of Cups to the collective? As, who's, this, who's the Knight of Cups to the collective? the knight of cups for this collective one card it 
It's the tower. The tower in reverse. Whoever this Knight of Cups is, they don't want to stop what they're doing. The universe, they trying to run from um, karma, actually. They trying to run from karma. And this is being orchestrated through the universe. You see how it's coming through the sky? This is orchestrated through the universe. So, pow two. I'm going to have to end this here. This is how your um, in-laws see you. Someone that's manifesting a better life. you full of love. You have self-love. You did your burning ritual. You already put your energy out there. You're moving on. Your gatekeepers is taking you away. Your ancestors, whoever you believe in, is, is taking you away from this, this betrayal, the secrets, the lies, the deceptiveness from this charming, loving, you know, manipulative person that likes to delve in creative energy, which is sex. Wands, yeah, beer sex. So, hopefully, this doesn't res resonate with you. If it does, you are doing the right thing. You are moving on. You are on the right path. So, until next time, take care. Okay, pal three. This is for the Tower of Dreams and for the Elements Rolling Paper. So, for your channel messages that I have for you guys, I think you're an earthy person. I think you're a very particular person. This is how the energy is coming across. You are structured. You know the um, you're in the loop, which means you know, you know what's going on. You you keep up to um, to speed with like things going on around the earth. You know around the world, social media stuff like that. You in the loop. You know what's going on. If you're in your friends group, you know what's going on in the friends group. Everybody keep you in the loop. You're serious about your money, you health conscience, and it seems like you could be a cultured person. I think your earth sign is giving me the energy of earth. So I'm going to shuffle the cards a little bit for the people who like to see the cards being shuffled because I've already shuffled the cards. And again, this is going to be a quick reading. Pow 1 and Pow 2 seem like it was it went along with one another. I'm not telling you to go to that pile if you haven't had any reason to go to the pile besides me telling you to go to, to those piles don't go to the piles okay gatekeepers how does the collective in-laws view them how does the collective in-laws view them view you as a star you could be an air sign aquarius gemini or um how my brain just went blank you think too much. You overthink. You think too much. A Gemini, a Aquarius, or a, um, how I'm going blank. I notice, like I know my name. I notice, like I know myself. How? Oh gosh, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You think a lot, but you are um, very like creative person, passionate person. You're a type of person that like. Very futuristic as well. How does the... Whoa. Let's see. Why is the star here for starters? Why is the star here? Why does the collective in-laws view them as the star? Four of Cups. Yeah, you balancing your energies. Four of Cups. You're not even... You, you're not interested in love right now, are you not? Interested in love? Are you overwhelmed with the relationship you're in? Because four, four cups, this says Scorpio up here. But four cups is a water sign, water Pisces Scorpio. Are you a Scorpio dealing with Aquarius or is this prominent in your chart? It seems like you, you're going through something. This is going to be a quick read and I can't really tap into it because I wasn't going to, I don't want to give one power more than the other time, but, oh, it's a lot. This deck want to talk. What's going on with the Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? Wait a minute. I said the Four of Cups. This is the Five of Cups. Yeah, you, you, the same thing. You, you seem like you're not interested in whatever relationship you win or how, why is the Five of Cups here? Can I, the strength came out. These cards is coming out in all these decks. The strength came out, not these cards, but the strength came out in Power One. So, you a strong person, you someone who, you know, you, you try to keep 
your um, inner demons, um, what would I say, in check. When you get stressed out, you try to balance yourself and keep your, keep your inner demons in check. You know, the lovers is here. Do you, why is the lovers here? Because the lovers is um, Gemini energy, air energy. Why is the lovers here? Why does the collective in law see them? Too many cards. Why does the Seven of Cups in reverse. You don't have any options. This is about choices too. This could be about love. And it also could be about choices. So the Seven of Cups came out in reverse. With the lovers. Do you not have any options? Why is this Seven of Cups in reverse? This says Scorpio too. It's a lot of Scorpio energy here. Why is um, the Seven of Cups in reverse? Seven of Cups is a water sign card. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Two of Wands in reverse. You're not... You... you. Hold up. You have no options. The Two of Wands is in reverse. Two of Wands is a, um, a fire sign. Leo. Sagittarius, Aries. This is different. This power is kind of different. Why is the two of wands in reverse? Why is the two of wands in reverse for the collective? Gatekeepers, help me for why is the um two of wands in reverse here? For the collective. And they in law see them this way. Whoa, well, you want to come out? The hangman. The hangman. This is a Pisces card. Are you stuck in a relationship? And you trying to have strength to stay here? You have you trying to have strength to hold yourself together to keep yourself the 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 um the harness your inner strength? Is this what's going on? Cause this look like this is what's going on. Why is the hangman in the reverse? Why is the hangman in reverse? The knight of corn. So, yeah, some, something is not coming. Something is stagnant. A knight of um, um, of pentacles is uh, earth sign, can't, I mean, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But this is somebody that's moving slow. This love moves very slow. This is a, 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 a person that's grounded. You know, they are responsible when they commit to doing something. But something is not moving here. And it seems like you're stuck. This night is not even moving anywhere. It's just reared up, ready to go. But it's not moving anywhere. It seems like you're stuck. You're stuck in a relationship. And you have no options. 